down here. So we're going to start up this AS rock. And um, got my little, I don't think I, I can even see where it is. It's down there to the right of the screen there. Uh, my little USB. Let me get up here, it's booting up. Oh, my little USB adapter with the SD card in it. Yeah. I got this is built with Sardu. It's a multi boot uh, setup with um, tools. These are all uh, Linux based uh, rescue operating systems and different tools. And uh, I'm not going to read them all off. I've done that several times before. But these all come. Uh, with the Sardu, it just does that automatically. They're all good ones, too. And uh, what did I do? Hit boot? No? Okay. Antivirus, that's what I'm going to run on this AS Rock again. I've ran five or six other. Uh, oh, okay. I'd forgotten what I put on here. I've got Dr. Webb. This Kepper Sky, which is one I used to use a lot. BBA Rescue. Uh, which I used to use a lot, especially on older machines that can't uh, handle, uh, they don't have enough memory and process it to run a graphic, the big graphic user interfaces that come with them these days. And my utilities I put, now these are things I put on there. Uh, Party Magic, Rescue Touch, di Boot Repair Disk, they're both, there's a 30, 64 and 32 bit version, they're good. Hiron's Boot CD, uh, this is 15 I think. The version 15 point whatever. ISO Linux usually boots works the best on most machines that I have. Mostly 686s and uh, Intel's and AMD's. This one's an AMD. This is a dual core AMD. Let's see. And then Linux. They, they make these menus for you. Sardi does. Uh, Netboot CD Core Plus you can install uh, several different Linux, Debain, Fedora, and several different Linux operating systems from the from the server, straight from the servers. So it's kind of cool. I used it once for Debain on a laptop. Uh, Fedora make comp is, let's see, I don't remember. I, did, I remember I put Fedora 24 and it wouldn't boot, so I took it out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> can't hold still and cough at the same time. I think I took it out and tried putting in another one, like another a different version of 23. I haven't tried it. I forgot. I haven't even tried it since then. So I don't know for sure. And the Zion Suite, that runs. Uh, that'll give you a line. That's 23 or 22. I think it's Fedora 22 Design Suite. That's a remix of Fedora. And they're a spin, as they like to call it. And I actually used that to install on my, lap, my Dell 1525 laptop a while back. That ISO, I mean. Uh, so, anyway. This, um, I'm always talking about Sardu and uh, Yummy. And so this is the boot screen of it after you've already, you know, set up, booted to it. So, I um, thought I'd show it on this video. Dr. Webb's okay. I think it run, runs a Ubuntu a Linux and it's pretty basic and kind of kind of more a little more automatic not so much I don't know if it's so automatic but anyway it's uh, I don't even know if it allows you to choose exactly you know like how you want to set it up so it's kind of more for people that aren't real familiar with virus scanning I, I would say Kepersky or Kapersky always I've always called it Kepersky because it didn't I didn't dawn on me that it was somebody's name uh, uh, one, the first several years I used it, so I've used it for five, eight years. I don't know how long. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use that one this time. It's g generally been pretty good and pretty thorough. Only thing I'm kind of wondering about it is this version, this t Rescue Disk 10, is still the newest one they have on their website for you to download, and that's two, three years old now. Of course, it updates the virus definitions, but generally, most program virus programs have to also update their programs to be able to find. They generally, uh, besides the virus definitions, they have uh, different mechanisms built into the program to find unknown viruses and stuff like that. So, um, 
all that and some of these newer systems like the Lenovo, I think the Lenovo i5, I don't think it'll even boot on it. it I believe it'll boot on it. Maybe it won't. Nothing's happening. This may be one of the machines it won't boot on. You know what? I think it is. So, uh, yeah, if it's just sitting there that long, it's not going to boot. Okay, let me stop this video and reboot because uh, I'll just shake the camera like crazy trying to do... I can't hit Control-Alt-Delete with the one hand very well.